boom, 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 boom. <sighs> I want you in my room. Hi, Hi everybody. Night. Together, together in my room. <laughs> According to Stats Canada or Canada Health or whatever with new guidelines, yeah. the amount we drink, I'm surprised I'm not dead from cancer five years ago. Mm -hmm. Cool. Anyway. Okay. And boom, boom. Hi, everybody. Welcome here. It's five o'clock. It it's is five yeah. o'clock. We're at the world headquarters. We're drinking Alberta gear. Like this is very exciting. Gear. We're waiting for Ty to pour us one here. Oh yeah, so sorry. He's not gonna wait forever. I'm just thirsty as hell over here. So this is mm. nice pop. Mm -hmm. This is a Wildlife Distillery. Ooh, nice color. Canmore, Alberta. And let me tell you a little bit about it. Well, you're nosing it. I haven't tried this yet, so. Ooh, nice. Um, yeah, Wildlife Wheat Whiskey, Alberta wheat? Craft Spears. Wheat? Wheat. Nice. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? Quill Wheaton. Wheaton! You're eating hair! This is 45.3% uh, ABV, and this is pretty special because this is batch one. Batch 001? Literally, batch 001. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is their first whiskey. Okay. The first ever. I see them advertised all the time for their gins and vodkas, yep. and they pop up on my social yep, media. Me too. Me too. And then they finally released a whiskey. I've so never tried got, the whiskey. I got interested. Neither have I. So, this is uh, Wildlife Distillery, Rocky Mountain Water, Alberta Prairie Grains. Okay. But there's a difference between the ingredients in our spirits and what brings them to life. For us, it's about the adventure, the places we've traveled, and the one we call home. Mm -hmm. It's the lifestyle that inspires us, a balance that informs every ounce we pour. Mm -hmm. Raise a glass and know that this is more than just a spirit. This is wildlife. <laughs> wildlife. So, uh, wildlife. Matt Widmer and Keith Robinson, co-founders, they uh, aged minimum of 3.5 years, okay. a mash bill of 61% wheat, 26% barley and 13% rye. So hold up. Yep. That's on the bottle. It is on the bottle. Kudos. Cheers uh, to y'all. Very cool to see that right on the bottle. Well, then oh. they say the barrel is a 53 gallon white American oak, distilled, aged, and bottled by Wildlife Distillery in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Yeah. Wildlifedistillery.ca. Very cool. Now, nowhere on the bottle, I mean, that's super cool they give us that much information, but there's two things lacking for information I like to see. Maybe going forward, gentlemen, I uh, mentioned natural color and non-chill filter. <laughs> Why not? Um, We're still gonna know. drink it, oh, yeah. but we'd like to know. If you got that much information on the label, then like throw just a little bit extra on there. So I will say, it is a beautiful bottle. I really do like the bottle. And then the, the mash bill label is slapped on as a separate sticker. So they're prepared to continue with this. Cool. Even the batch one is a separate sticker. That's okay. So I guess this is gonna be a series like this and I'll just keep adding what it is. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm happy with it. So just maybe on your stickers you <clears throat> can add that info. Nice, I like the bottle. It's nice. It smells good. 45.3% mm -hmm. too, I mean. Yeah, I like those numbers. Pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. Now, first when I when I started smelling this, when it came right at the bottle, I was very sharp and astringent. And it seems as if within a minute or two of you reading, it's calmed down absolutely drastically. And it's this beautiful kind of a dill thing going on there now. Like a salty popcorn spice kind of dill, not like a pickle. Oh. Kernels, yeah, we yeah, talked totally, about this before. Totally. I, know, so I have yes, some at man. home, the problem is I haven't oh, used it, and freaking. it's solid. So I have to like break it up. But oh, yeah, I know man. what you're talking about. This is awesome. That smells very, very pungent, man. Yeah. For 13% rye in the mash bill. <sighs> That's like I'm rye smelling, city. I'm smelling a lot of rye. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're calling it wheat whiskey, 61% wheat. But this is their first, so. Shall we? We shall. The suspense is killing me. That's quite lovely, actually. I agree, it's quite lovely. Mm. Canadian style, for sure. Like Canadian style, but mm, on point. It tastes hotter than 45.3. For me, that's a lot hotter. Um, Almost like a 48, to me. Now, I would disagree with that. Okay. Uh, however, however, I've been drinking a lot of castor and stuff here lately. Uh, I've been cutting my, my uh, consumption down quite a bit so i've been <laughs> you're drinking consuming less so you're drinking <laughs> yeah. stuff less is more right 
So, uh, but I think it's at a, a beautiful spot there. We should have made the got some water, but that's okay. Uh, I I'm like impressed. It. Yeah. yeah. Um, you bought this? I, I did. I bought cool. this. I bought two bottles actually, because I'm going to mm. put one away in the bunker because that's one. You got a bunker, got it. two nice. bottles of batch one. Very exciting. Because if these guys do great things, I'd love to have an extra bottle to open in 10 years time. I think they're going to do great things. This is a great thing they've done. I'm just warming it up a bit. Uh, I like my whiskeys a little bit above room temperature. Mm -hmm. uh, brings out some of those oils and flavors. Uh, some purists will tell you not to not to cook the glass. Yeah, not what's a purist? It, right? <laughs> Sounds like a white supremacist. <laughs> <laughs> well, Purists. Fuck off. Yeah, fuck off. Um, yeah, man, this is great. Anyone who's a fan of Canadian um, style whiskey, I think you'd really enjoy this. It's sweet, but that rye is very... Very forward. I was expecting more on the wheat. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. So, disappoint is not the right word, just a different expectation. Mm -hmm. How could you be so insensitive? It's now, don't get us wrong. You can still taste like that wheat vibe, that soft, luscious vibe, but the rye, the rye's a star here. The rye does shine through, and there's a touch of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An interesting sweetness, yeah. not overpowering by any means of the imagination, but. I'm happy with it. I'm happy I bought it. I'm happy I got another bottle. And I can see this uh, getting drank. The danger part is I won't know how yep. much is gone until it's right there. You got to go by feel alone, baby. Ooh, yeah. Graden by the seedy ass. Cool. All right. Well. Well done. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, I'm Wildlife. impressed. Wildlife, yeah. Dog. Congratulations on your first whiskey, yeah. batch one. Yeah. Look forward to seeing more from you. And uh, Me too. I look forward to what you have coming. Cheers. Yeah, we'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How am I doing that? It's freaking yummy. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy some more. Oh, here. One more? Yeah. I don't know if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I wouldn't mind at all, my friend. <laughs> there you go. Mm, thanks, buddy. Yeah, okay. See you later, guys.